All right, here we go. This is day eight. Two eighty two. Something interesting happened with the weight. Uh, a multi layered story for you. Okay, so part one is when I woke up this morning, I weighed myself immediately. And uh, I weighed 280.6. Yeah, 280.6. I then decided to go take the dogs for a walk uh, to try and get my mood lifted, try and get my energy up, get some endorphins going. I just got back from it and uh, came back. And weighed myself again. As you see, I was 282. So I gained a pound and a half walking around the block, which is obviously I didn't. So scales are broken. Um, well, they're not broken. They probably just can't handle my weight, which is really frustrating. Because um, literally, all I did was walk around the block and I gained a pound and a half. But I didn't, obviously. It's just, you know, that's what the scales were telling me. Uh, but there's another point to the story, which is that last night I blew it. I went off my diet. And uh, I went off my diet in a big way. So all of that stuff I was saying in the last video about how, well, maybe I'll, you know, maybe I can go off the diet and just have a steak or a salad. Like, not binge, not binge. And I, I remember saying it as if, like, that's not me anymore. <laughs> addict. Uh, so real relapse last night. I'm a food addict, clearly. Uh, what did I have? I had... I guess it isn't I look I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because I still lost weight today somehow but I had uh, a couple of slices of ham because I started to get really dizzy like I couldn't stand up and I figured I need protein so I had a couple of slices of ham and that actually did help um, when I say a couple it was like four it was one portion four slices so it was like 70 calories or something it wasn't much right but it triggered something in my taste buds and I then started to have cravings, which I haven't had for a while. And I ended up, at the end result of it, I fought it for a bit. Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, wait. First thing I had after that was chicken wings. Home-baked chicken wings. Um, like a Costco pack of them. So it's like a lot of wings, like 15 wings. But they're, they're tiny wings, but still, it's a lot of wings. I had all of them. Because <laughs> I had like eight of them because I figured the calories. And I'm like, this actually isn't too bad. I'm still under like my daily calorie limit. Not that I have one, but what I get. I'm under 1,500. That's usually what I count to. So I had those, right? But then I was like, oh, my God, these are amazing. And I had the other half. So I just finished them all off. I did drop a couple of them <laughs> in my excitement. Um, God, I can, I, that picture's awesome now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I had the chicken wings after I had a couple of sliced ham. And then that kicked something off for me. And I ended up going to the market and getting a musketeers bar which if you're in england is like a milky way we have milky way here as well but it's more like a mars bar and we don't have mars bars here we have milky ways but i had a three musketeers which is like an english milky way um so i had that and a pint of ice cream yeah u.s pint of ice cream so you know used to what well, used to be probably three or four portions and is now just one portion in america um so I blew it. Um, so I figured I would wake up this morning feeling dehydrated and crappy because I had Diet Coke as well. Feeling dehydrated and crappy. And I did. I felt crappy. I felt crappy about myself. So I went for a walk and thought about it on the walk. Like a hard walk, right? I was moving quickly. Power walk, as they say. And um, I decided not to beat myself up about it because I had weighed myself by that point. I'm like, well, I didn't gain weight. So, like... No, no point in beating yourself up, getting to a solution. Because what happens is if I beat myself up, you may recognize this. I just think, well, I may as well give up the whole fucking thing then. I may as well just do whatever I want. And I'll just go home and I'll have a Diet Coke and I'll just, uh, just whatever, you know. So I decided to not try that route and instead say, okay, you just, you're doing well on your diet. You just had a day off and get back on it. So that's what I'm going to do. Just potatoes and water today. <laughs> Straight back on it, right? I got lucky I didn't gain any weight, so that's where we're at. Day 8 weigh-in is 282. That's it. Back on the potato diet. I'm still calling it day 8. I'm not saying day 1, even though I had a day off. It's not like whole 30 where you have to restart. This is day 8 of the potato diet, and day 7 was a bit of a clusterfuck. Rainbow nuggets! And Dirk Kirk.